SRKCycles.com and we have a 2012 Can-Am Spider. This is the SM5, which is the manual transmission one. And this is the RT. It's not the RTS, it's just the RT. So it does have the, uh, the big backrest. Um, let's take a first spin. These things are a lot of fun. This thing's got low miles. I prefer the manual transmission ones. I feel like I got better connection with the bike. Let's uh, let's do this. Now, if you remember from some of my other videos, I'll show you guys real quick how to turn these things on. No one ever knows how to turn them on. But if you read the instructions on the front, it says it actually tells you to read this card and before you ride it every single time. I'm sure no one's ever done that. You press the mode button right here. Mode button. Pull the clutch, grab the brake. Hit the start button. Now this thing's just like a uh, just like a regular motorcycle. Except for uh, all the braking is on the uh, floor. No hand braking, which kind of throws me off when I get in those situations and you know what situations I'm talking about the kind of situations all riders at one point of time get themselves into that oh shoot what am I gonna do and my reflexes are to grab me a hand for a break but I gotta kind of switch that and grab me a foot full of foot break These things are definitely a great alternative to the uh, to the one wheel on the front trike. These handle much better. They're much more stable. They're a lot wider, and they're just much more stable to to maneuver and to handle. It's also, you know, a lot of people that ride these. Um, you know, they'll put a new rider on them just because you know. They, they want to feel the open road. They want that open feeling, but they don't want the they don't want the extra stress and pressure, you know, to be a you know to have a bike that that might have some weight to it, you know. And this is definitely a great option. It's a big bike. You can store a lot of stuff, but you don't have to. You can be the smallest person riding this thing, and no stress on you. So that's definitely a uh, a plus. Every time I try to three wheel it, a uh, two wheel it on a corner, it stops me. It does like little braking. It do, you know, it's, these things are tacked out, so it does that little braking shimmy thing, and you can hear something sque screeching, and it always stops me from doing that. If I want, I want to figure out how to turn that off, and then I can do some two wheeling on corners. These things are nice. This one only has 7,600 miles on it. Barely even ridden. Barely even broke in. When I was talking to the uh, the Can-Am dealer about these Rotex uh, power power plants, power trains, I was like, "You guys having any problems with these things?" He's like, "No, these things, the, nothing in minor little stuff. These things are pretty bulletproof." He's seen these things are like 60,000 miles and just nothing. They still run good. So that was that was nice to hear. Rotax makes a good engine. I believe they're German. Don't quote me on that. Someone's probably gonna correct me though. If I'm wrong, YouTube. Good job, YouTube. I'm sure these cars would get out of my way. Yeah, but this is this is a nice uh, it's a nice RT. Um, It does. It's got the. Uh, it's got the power brake. It's got the heated grips. It does not have the um, the comfort or the uh, or the audio packages. So the audio package would have the radio and stuff. Although you could install this, it has the capability. It's just got the buttons on it. You just gotta put the radio. The radio actually gets mounted inside the uh, underneath the um, this panel on the side, and then you put speakers in the front. 
So you could definitely uh, install a speaker system on this, which, which would be pretty cool. <clears throat> which it's probably cheaper just to buy one without it and install the stuff onto it than to buy one with all the packages because whoever had it paid a lot of money for that stuff. stuck behind this guy for days now the biggest difference with this thing other than the brakes and the fact that it takes you like 20 seconds longer than any, any other vehicle to start because you have to wait for the thing and press the mode button is the um the ha the handling now it's stable don't get me wrong but you have if if you don't lean into the corner you're gonna get kind of thrown the other way and it's just it's you know a little it's different with a motorcycle you're leaning with the bike so you and the bike are already leaning so you're already there this you have to kind of think about it donkeys mules i don't know this you have to think about it and lean with the corner or it kind of pushes you the other way it's uh it's 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 they're fun to ride if you've never ridden one definitely get a chance I would love to ride one of these things in the snow that'd be a blast Definitely a lot of fun though. It's definitely though, it's more effort to turn than a motorcycle. Because with a bike, you're just kind of leaning, you're pushing the opposite, you're kind of pushing the opposite way of the handlebars, and you just, you throw it into it. With this, you're actually turning the wheel harder than a car. Harder than a motorcycle. And you're also constantly adjusting the steering wheel when you're riding like fast. But with a bike, you just kind of lean a little bit. It feels a little bit more stable. And this is stable, you know, just go ride one. You'll know what I mean. I really want to go take this thing through a field. This would be so much fun to drift if you could just take the traction control off. It's got good passing power. It is easier to steer than a bike with a sidecar. Which I've recently done. Finally got to ride a bike with a sidecar. The last uh, the last Can Am I sold, I sold to a guy in New Mexico. He drove out. No, he, he flew out. I picked him up at the train station. He flew. He flew to Philly. Took the train into Lancaster. I picked him up at the train station, and he rode the Can Am back real cool guy these things are really I mean you can't drop them you know what I mean they really don't get damaged they're reliable they're a lot of fun easy to maintain and uh, most likely this one's gonna get shipped shipped or the guy's gonna f fly in and come pick it up I ship bikes I sell bikes to people all over the country probably about 40 or 50 percent of my bikes get shipped This is a really clean bike. If you want to see more about it, check out the uh, check out the walk around video I do with this thing. 
Uh, it's going to be a great price, and it's going to sell this month. What month are we in? January, February, March, April, May, June. We're in June. It's going to sell in June for sure. See, as soon as that front wheel lifts off the ground, it jumps on the brakes. <clears throat> Alright guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. And remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going.